Hey guys, how you doing today? I wanted to give you some updates on my philodendron mani. Now this is a plant that um, Chris from Crystal's Garden Pile gave to me. She got it, if I can remember correctly. She got it. She won it, actually. I think on Instagram. Um, and she got it. And it was kind of not in all that great shape when she got it and she grew it for I think about a year and um, just never had a lot of really good luck with it. Um, the leaves were uh, coming out torn, they were staying small and just some issues that she was having. So she decided she didn't want it no more and she knew I wanted one. I had been on the outlook for one. I was looking for like a cutting or something. Um, cause you guys know me, you, those of you that have been watching me for a long time, I love buying cuttings. One, one, they're cheaper, and two, I like to watch my things grow, so, um, but anyway, she sent it to me, I got it, it didn't do that well for me either, um, I just was kind of having the same kind of issues with it. Um, the leaves were coming out torn, they were coming out all wonky and looking funny, um, I had a bout with it that, uh, I think it was like a month ago, two months ago, I had, it got spider mites, um, luckily I caught it in time where it really didn't do a whole lot of damage to the plant, because I am a helicopter parent with my plants, so... But, what I did was, I chopped it. You can see right here where I cut it. And I cut it into two different pieces. I made a top cutting, and then I have a middle cut. But on this one, this is the original plant. It gave me this leaf after I cut it. And then now it's growing another leaf right here. And it also has, if you can see, <laughs> I don't know, it has a third leaf coming out right here. So I'm kind of hoping, hoping for the best for the original plant. And she is just padded in soil and a lot of perlite for the airiness in the soil. Like most philodendrons, they like to have airy soil. So then this well, is the mid cut. This had absolutely no leaves on it. Um, it was just a stem or a chunk, whatever people are calling it, wet stick, whatever, whatever people are calling them. Um, and I rooted her in perlite and water and it started rooting out it got about an inch or so roots on it and I stuck her in spag uh, I put the perlite on top because the spag was drying out so quickly I do have her in an old uh, orchid container a net cup and now she is pushing out this beautiful new stem and leaf and I'm really excited about that. Um, very cute. I'm excited about seeing what this chunk will do. I really didn't know if it would do anything. You know, you just don't know with plants what what they're gonna do. So I'm gonna set her. Nope. I'll set her right here. Now, my top cut. My top cut. I also had in uh, perlite and water. And I grew that out. It had, I believe it had two leaves on it. And this is my top cut now. Isn't she gorgeous? This was the first leaf that it pushed up after I rooted her out. The original leaf that was on it was right here. I'm going to pull this off. I cut it off before 
like a couple of weeks ago or whatever. So it is done and it pushed out the sleeve was next and it just recently pushed out the sleeve. You can see how much bigger the sleeve is compared to my hand than this one. And now it has another new leaf coming up. I am so excited. This plant is so, so beautiful. I love the silver striping in it. But um, I just sprayed her down again today with neem oil. Just not because she had spider mites, but just to keep them warded away. I find that if you have plants that have spider mites, once you do the original spider mite kill, um, if you do a monthly spray down again really well of the plant, you want to get the fronts and the backs of the leaves, the stem, any, everything. Even I even spray it down in my medium. So, but yesterday, last night, I seen she was dry again, so I watered her, and I went to pick her up and look at the roots. <laughs> oh boy. So, see all the little roots coming out? So, I left her sit in water and so that the roots got softer so they wouldn't break, hopefully pulling her out of here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her in this clear orchid um, container. It's just an old container that I've probably had for a million years. But I'm going to put her in this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting her, I'm going to keep her in this bag because she seems to really, really like it. She's growing well. Um, it might be the trick for this plant for a little while. Later I will put her over into my regular um, soil mixture of soil and perlite. But right now I want to keep her in this bag. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, I've got some spag here that I've had soaking this morning. So I'm just going to bring that out. Let that sit for a minute. I forgot the first thing I want to do here. I want to get rid of that so I don't accidentally put it in my container. These, Since these have big holes on the bottom, what I want to do is I have some coffee filters here. So I think what I'm going to do is just, that has a hole down in it. So I'm going to try to, shoot, I should have grabbed my scissors. I'm going to cut, oh, I'll just rip it. <laughs> Much easier. I'm just going to line the bottom of this with... my coffee filter and then hope that the roots don't go through it too crazily but I'm going to add some perlite to my spag just for a little more airiness and the spag dries out so quickly I think what I'm going to do again is put perlite over the top of her um, when I'm done to see if that helps hold the moisture in. So you just you want to put your spag in lightly. You don't want to compact it. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more perlite in here. Now I'm going to pull her out gently and hope that I don't, beans that I soaked her, oh my gosh, she has little roots coming 
I'm trying to figure out here. This one is... It's like it went back up into... Oh, I wish I would have seen this earlier. I don't want to break her. I will be very upset. Gosh, this feels like it's so compacted in here, and it shouldn't be. Oh my gosh. Well, that explains why... Look at the roots. Wait. Look at the root system. It's just wrapping around and around and around. So I'm just going to loosen this up just a little bit. I'm not going to... I am not going to mess. There's another... Some more dead sheathing. I'm going to pull that off. This plant is loving life in spag, which is why I want to keep her in it. Now this plant is a crawler. It will cr it crawls across the ground, kind of like a. Um, if any of you guys have a melanocrysum, I mean not a melanocrysum. I'm sorry, a gloriosum or a McDowell or a Pastiatum, um, they crawl across the ground. But I'm just going to loosen this up. Look at the beautiful, beautiful red roots coming off of this top cut. Look at that. Can you guys see the beautiful red roots coming off? gorgeous and the red on the bottom too but I'm just going to loosen I'm not gonna go crazy I'm just gonna loosen her up right here because she has I, I am just totally amazed at her root system she really took off. I'm just going to loosen her up a little bit. I really wanted to get some more perlite up in here, so I'm just going to loosen very gently. I'm not going to do... I'm not going to go crazy. I can feel the bottom... The bottom of the cutting is right there. Can you guys see it? It's real dark. Beautiful. I am so pleased with how this plant is growing. And if this is how she loves to grow in my environment, I'm, I'll grow her in this bag. But soon she will start to her um, rhizome, I guess, will start taking off and crawling across the pot. But I'm not wor too worried about that right now. Right now, I'm just going to put her in another container. And then I think also what I'm going to do is I found a little board, a little stick that I saved from another project. I think I'm going to try to um, finagle that in my pot. Alright, I'm not going to mess with her anymore. I don't want to I don't want to freak her out and I do not want to disrupt that new growth coming. But I just want to try to get these roots here that were starting to wind across the top. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't put her in a bigger pot because look at that. She's not going to have... a whole lot more growing room and she is going nuts. So, 
Maybe I should put her in a bigger pot. Oh, it'll set her right here because look at those. She's not going to have a whole lot of room to, to grow um, if I put her in that pot. And I'm just going to be repotting her again in like two minutes. So I'm going to go find another pot. This is um, real, real life here. <laughs> you just never know what, until you get into something, what's going to happen. Let me go find a bigger pot. I'm not going to go crazy with a bigger pot, but she definitely needs something bigger. When I'm potting, uh, when I'm growing stuff in spag and even in the perlite, I use my um, fish fertilizer is what I use, which might, might be why the roots went so crazy with this plant, but I don't know. But this is just, I'm not endorsing any kind of a specific product, but this is Neptune's Harvest. Uh, this is actually fish and seaweed fertilizer, which is a 231. Um, I also use, I have a bottle of Alaska, I think it's called Alaska or Alaskan. I just, I get that at Walmart. You can also get it like on Amazon. Um, I bought this because it was on sale and I thought, well, the fish and the seaweed... Um, I'll go ahead and try it, but no big deal, but that's the fertilizer that I use, or I just use the regular, uh, fish fertilizer. But what I'm gonna do, even though I watered her last night, I put all that fresh, um, spag on. I have fish fertilizer in my bucket, so I am just going to lightly go around, that way her roots are, I'm going to get some here to the back, and I think I might go ahead and just put like a small layer of perlite Maybe that will help. I don't know if it really helps. I'm just kind of trying it to see if it will help. Um, it's still airy, so the air should get on good. Just to try to help it hold a little more moisture a little bit longer for me. Because there has been a couple of times where I walked in here and uh, the few things that I have growing in bag moss were dry and I was like oh no but between the heat and I have a fan running and I got per, uh, spag moss all over everything but so I'm hoping this will help I will give you guys another update on this beauty in a 
another month or two and she should have that third leaf, hopefully a fourth. Hopefully the leaves just keep getting bigger and bigger. Uh, maybe the next time I do an update she will need to be repotted again. I don't know, this is crazy, but if she's enjoying living in Spag, um, I figure I'm just going to keep her there and we'll see how the uh, the inner node cutting does that just started also growing a new leaf because she's on spag. Um, and Chris, maybe if you want to try this plant again, I can send you the inner node cutting. And you can grow her in spag too and see it because my god, I don't need three. <laughs> I, I do not need three of these plants. These plants get huge. But so, alright guys, I am going to let you go. This video is probably way longer than I wanted it to be, but I don't know. Sometimes that is the way it goes. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to be doing a video soon um, on some plant updates. I'm going to try to do them all separately. It's been so hot here and we've just had tons and tons of rain for the last two or three days and now it's super humid so I will not be outside working in this. I will only go out when I absolutely have to to water but I won't have to water for days now because of all the rain we just had. But I'm hoping to do another garden update here soon. So I am going to let you guys go and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace.